All right, listen to me, family of God, listen to me. There is no better place to be in the presence of God. There is no other place that we should crave other than the presence of God. You can be having a bad day. You can be having a good day. And no matter what is happening, the presence of God will always trumpet. It will always give you everything that you need in your situation. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm here in Florida, not on good circumstances, not under uh, vacation, um, but just um, family emergency. And there is no better place that I would rather be than in the presence of God, because I know in the presence of God, there's hope. I know in the presence of God, there's peace, there's understanding. Even in the midst of all the chaos that happens around us, once we enter the presence of God, we can step over into eternity and we can step into heavenly treasures like peace, like understanding, like wisdom. Wisdom is better than gold and silver. My brothers and sisters, no matter what you need, no matter what you are, are lacking, once you go into the the presence of God, everything else always fades away and it brings joy to your heart. It brings joy to your soul. It brings joy to your spirit. And you can walk with the confidence that no one else may understand. But when you come out of the presence of God, there is a fire that starts on the inside of you. We are all our own little unknown fires. And when we tap into the presence of God, it ignites us. And it's like oil within our lamps that keeps it burning and all consuming fire. So brothers and sisters, whatever you do, Whatever you do, don't forget to get into the presence of God. I think that's where so many people go wrong is they can build platforms and they can they can go and succeed in higher jobs and, and they can get a new car. And the thing that they forget is where they how they got there or what God was holding on to them before they had those things. So then we start to neglect the presence of God. We start to neglect getting into his word. We start to neglect his heart. And what happens is we start to fade away and we realize none of those things actually matter in the first place. We we realize none of the followers actually mattered in the first place and they never cared. We realize nothing else mattered besides getting into the presence of God. So my brothers and my sisters, if we want to be close to Jesus, we have to be close to his presence. And no, his presence never leaves us. But what we have to realize is we're, if we're not actively getting into his presence, he's going to feel far away from us. Where sin separates, that's why the wages of sin is death. And when we participate in sin and we neglect repentance, we neglect forgiveness. We stop feeling the presence of God. We stop knowing what it's like to surrender. We stop realizing what it means to be close to his heart. Brothers and sisters, please do not neglect the presence of God. It is the power that is in him that gives us power. Greater is he who is in us than he that is in the world. So the power that we receive from the Holy Spirit by being in his presence gives us the strength to get through any situation that we face. The hopeful ones and the ones that seem like they have no hope. But when you're in the presence of God, he starts to reveal that he always makes beautiful things out of the ashes. What we see as bad, what we see as no hope, God sees as the best situation. Think about this. He turned death into the greatest thing. The greatest weapon that the enemy had ever against people was death. You can say, oh yeah, you can be a prophet, but I can always kill you. You could, you can speak, a, a, save a thousand people, but that, that, that man of God, I death still has to conquer him. So the worst thing that everyone was afraid of, death. Jesus said, I'm going to take that and turn into the most glorious thing. Because what to live as Christ, to die is what? Gain. So when we see a hopeless situation and the world sees us lost, we have to realize that when we're in the presence of God, we always have the ability to tap into what it's like to have that eternal treasure of eternal hope of resurrecting. So brothers and sisters, do not neglect the presence of God. It is what gives us strength.